it's Linda taking a five-year introspection ponderance five years hmm. anyone who's followed this channel or my works or knows any part of me publicly other than knowing me from my past in high school and my uh, past marriages and my and, and those lifetimes <laughs> anyone who knows me since i've come out of the closet spiritually speaking that is since i started putting my philosophies and my truths and my beliefs and and my rethought beliefs and my <laughs> and my encouragement and my empowerment and my lessons my examples my experiences and my hopefully humility in showing that I'm always willing to learn and stay open and in the last five years my soul had made contact through poetry and I knew I knew it was soul level speaks and it's just so so beautiful how the journey just just in the last five years you know before five years ago you know you always think you know what you know up to what you know and then you realize you don't know <laughs> what you thought you knew and things change so like staying open and staying willing to not know but to trust that you do know you know it all but that's the part that's humble and attached and you're finding your way back to so as you become closer in wholeness to your soul level by infusion by self-activation by uh, tests and and whatever else e experiments experiences lifetimes whatever you want to call it the learning pool of knowledge the eternal pool of wisdom that is all within all of divinity and creation it's almost like just putting words to it doesn't do it justice there's no justice in trying to describe that which is everything and nothing all at once it's no thing and it's all so this is a reflection of a five-year journey that has been the propulsion speed of this was because of when my son crossed over and my oldest son James that's uh, this one right here five years ago on the 23rd of March 2018 when he crossed over that really changed everything and for a lot of people I know it has and uh, for the amount of ripple effects that go out so four years ago I started my YouTube channel so it took me a whole year of healing to and writings and experience with my soul infusion it took me five years five well a whole year to fully integrate and infuse my soul at a level that I knew I was embodying and could channel uh, whenever I wanted I just had to be tapped in and still and and I still had uh, filters attached and I was still going through the cleansing purging but it was an awakened cleansing purging versus just traveling through life still linear not quantum yet still um, conceptualizing what multi-dimensional means that was a lot of my oh, say beyond the five years anything in the last five years has been just completely quantum and integrated um, before that maybe conceptualizing and embodying multi-dimensional but when you go full-on quantum and multi-dimensional they merge together as well because once you make that interconnection once you are like aware of who and what you are on the inside everything just seems to change so time changes time gets more circular experiences get more um, smaller because they're all pieces of the puzzle fitting together and as the picture starts coming together and there may or may not be pieces missing anymore you may be just at the end of completion you get to see the whole picture maybe there's one or two holdouts so when the pieces come back to form the whole picture and 
all unified minds on the consciousness field are ignited and connected. It becomes that moment in time across a space. It becomes a location of a destiny point. And nothing can stop it. So, let it be. For all eternity, we are one with Trinity. Holy unity ought to be eternity. Okay, uh, so that's enough for now. I'm going to do some more journaling and I'm trying a new setup here so that if my back is sore and I want to record, I, I don't have to stand or sit. I can just relax, chill, look outside. I got a great view from here, the trees and the wind and, and nature. So when you can't actually get outside, then connect anyway, because you are all of it. I'll be back again soon. I love you guys. Wouldn't be here if you weren't watching. Peace. I love you.